The next tab offers you a function called 2.5D. In this tab, you can plot your intensities as third dimension, z-axis, and then you have y x axis for coordinates of your pixels and z axis for plotting intensities. This part of the software is very similar for 3D reconstruction and for 2.5D reconstruction. You will get a set of tools here. You can, for example, draw a bounding box around your three-dimensional reconstruction to show where the limits are. You can ask to visualize x y axis. So now you can see which one is which and also a z-axis, which in this case will be intensities plotted from 0 to 255, since I have an 8-bit image. The home button brings the whole model, the reconstruction, to a original position, and this button allows you to activate the spin mode. When you click on it and drag your model, it, you will send it into spin. It's a very cool model to understand what happens when you change the parameters here on the histogram. And now I'm looking only at the single channel called GS1. This is YFP detection in this case. And I can try to modify the histogram. So now I'm cutting off all the pixels which have intensities below 43. And you can see that the low intensities values, they they just disappear. And I can do the same with the highest intensities, which will shave off the peaks on the mountains on my model. And if I increase the visibility of pixels with low intensities, I will uh, see much more background pixels. And I can pull them back down. There are several different ways how you can plot the intensities. There is profiles, uh, which allows you to build profiles of lines uh, along the x-axis. And you can increase the distance between these profile lines by changing the values here. So now you can see individual lines with the profiles. It decreases the amount of information, but it might be easier to understand what is going on on your image as well. You can set the offset for the palette. In this case, it's palette color coding the channel from dark gray or black to bright yellow. I can change the position of this gradient on the palette by tweaking this offset. The grid option allows you to build a grid of intensities and now I have a very small distance between the the grids so it's very difficult to see but if I increase the step between the lines on the grid you can see the plot field option is what I had as a default here and surface builds a surface like intensities profile of your image and you can make it either as a very accurate model or a very crude one. And again, this offset changes the position of the gradient on the palette and allows you to visualize either more or less details. Um, in the background option, you can change the color of the background to whatever color you are offered here. Um, in the light option, you can ask the software to show you what is the source of light which is shining on your model. I'll change back to black here. So you need to check in here the draw light source button here. And you can see that the light is now out of my field of view and this is the spot of light it is creating. I can uh, ask the software to bring the light source closer to my model. So now I can see the light source. I can change its tilt angle, the azimuth. And it will change the, the size and the shape of shades my model is creating. And I also can change the elongation. 
in the projection uh, tab you can create a, a different perspective by tweaking the view angle and you can also rescale the height of the Z scale making it ever either larger or smaller and in the settings you can play with the font size and also display list there are additional tools here there is a zoom tool which is the scroll wheel on the top left there is a wheel which allows you to rotate your model around its x axis another wheel allows you to rotate it around y axis and this one will allow you to change the height of the z uh, axis it's exactly the same as scale z here there are some tools available here the first one select measure points i truly do not understand what the hell does it do it doesn't show me any measurements it shows some blue dot which you can not even place anywhere okay um, this tool rotate the view is quite useful it allows you to level it in xy plane and then rotate around the z-axis so you can look around at your intensities and the next tool allows you to zoom in and out by moving the mouse towards yourself or away from yourself and this tool allows you to lift or lower down your model along the intensity axis or z-axis. Uh, there is also a 3D measurement tab here which allows you to measure intensities uh, for example along a, a polyline which you can draw on your model and it doesn't always work so it, here I can see the intensity at this point will be 116 and at this point it will be 7.82 and so on and if you don't want to see this text overlaying your model you can check in the hide the text and also either draw the lines on the top or hide them inside your model currently you cannot see any values of the measurement but you can click on copy and this should copy all measurement values into the clipboard and then you can paste it into excel sheets 